Hey my friends, welcome to Man of Faith Ministries. I'm Brian. You've joined me today for chapter 2 of the epistle to James in our New Testament readings from Matthew right through to Revelation. There is a link in the description if you want to go back and see any of the previous ones. But the chapter today is titled The Sin of Partiality. It's chapter 2 of the epistle to James. My brethren, do not hold your faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ with an attitude of personal favoritism. For if a man comes into your assembly with a gold ring and dressed in fine clothes, and there also comes in a poor man in dirty clothes, and you pay special attention to the one who is wearing the fine clothes and say, you sit here in a good place and you say to the poor man, you stand over there or sit down by my footstool. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil motives? Verse five. Listen, my beloved brethren, did not God choose the poor of this world to be rich in faith and the heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him? But you have dishonoured the poor man. It, is it not the rich who oppress you and personally drag you into court? Do they not blaspheme the fair name by which you have been called? Verse 8. If, however, you are fulfilling the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbour as yourself, you are doing well, but if you show partiality, you are committing sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keep the whole law and yet stumbles in one point, he has become guilty of all. For he who said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not commit murder. Now, if you do not commit adultery, but do commit murder, you have become a transgressor of the law. So speak. Speak and so act as those who are to be judged by the law of liberty. For the judgment will be merciless to the one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Verse 14. What use is it, my brethren, if someone says he has faith, but he has no works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is without clothing and in need of daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, be warmed and be filled, and yet do not give them what is necessary for their body, what use is that? Even so, faith, if it has no works, is dead being by itself. Verse 18. But someone may well say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without the works and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that God is one. You do well. The demons also believe and shudder. But are you willing to recognize, you foolish fellow, that faith without works is useless? Verse 21. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered up Isaac his son on the altar? You see that faith was working with his works. And as a result of the works, faith was perfected. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, And Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see that a man is justified by works and not by faith alone. Verse 25. In the same way was not Rahab the harlot also justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out by another way. For just as the body without the spirit is dead, so also faith without works is dead. That's the end of chapter two. Next time we've got chapter three of the epistle of James, which is titled, The Tongue is a Fire. So please join me for that one. Love you all, love you being here. I love reading this scripture to you. Please join me next time. Until then, please stay safe, take care. May the Lord bless you greatly today, my friends.